Hi, this is CBRadioMagazine.com. We're going to show you a new radio that's come out. This is a new AM, FM, single sideband radio. It's from a company called Yeticom. That's Y-E-T-I-C-O-M. This is The radio is called the Optima, and they're based out of New Zealand. This radio is made overseas in Asia. This is a radio based uh, with the same type of chassis we've seen on other, uh, other radios, such as the Magnum 257, uh, the Radio Shack HTX uh, version, uh, Titan Road Pro, they always use the same case, which is this nice, compact, small case. But this radio definitely has been set up with some different types of functions. Uh, the functionality radio works a little differently than some of the others, so we'll jump into it and show you what this is all about. To start off, though, we'll just go through the functions, and then we'll get in and show you some of the intricacies of this radio that really make it uh, stand out for some of the other ones. First off, uh, on the left-hand side here, volume on-off control, and uh, these knobs, of course, are backlit, which is always nice. The display on this is a whiter, uh, it's just maybe a slight hint of blue, but it's kind of a bright white display. Uh, very easy to read from multiple angles, which is something that uh, some of these radios have had trouble with in the past, some of the other versions. So this nice uh, display on this one is easily viewable from almost all angles. So uh, my con uh, microphone connection here is going to be 8-pin ICOM connection. So a little bit different than you've seen on other ones. It's not going to be like a Magnum 6-pin. It's a uh, ICOM, so if you need to rewire a microphone, you'll need to do an 8-pin ICOM wiring. RF gain control on the outside here, microphone gain on the inside. Up here we have squelch on the outside, RF power, variable RF power control on the inside. Control your output. Got our channel uh, changing control here. And uh, that's, you know, change your frequencies. Clarifier. Clarifier is also your function button. If you push it in once, it enables the function option and it helps enable some of the secondary features of these buttons. There's also a uh, narrow IF filter, which is something we haven't seen on too many exports. If you hold this in uh, for about three, four seconds, it enables the filter. And you'll see a little uh, display here. There's a light right here that turns orange when the narrow filter is on. So that definitely can clean up signals and make it a little easier to hear some stations out there. The buttons, we've got a step button, and that controls the tuning increment here. We've got a noise blank, which we've actually got enabled right now. There's a call button. Uh, in the mode that we're in currently, it's going to adjust the megahertz uh, tuning here. Uh, in 10 meter mode, it'll jump between 10 and 12 meter frequencies, and that's how you get back and forth between those. There's a scan uh, option on this, and that'll scan through all the frequencies. There's a shift function. If you uh, press the function button and press shift, you'll see here it does a plus shift. Do it again, it's minus shift, and that takes us back to normal. The shift lets you uh, transmit higher or lower on a frequency so that you can do uh, split frequencies. And to get into that, actually, we'll show you here. If you hold down the push function, hold down that button for shift, it takes you in here so you can set your offset. There. All right, continuing on here, we have a last channel recall. It'll take you back to the last channel that you transmitted on. There's a mode function here. And that will rotate us through AM, FM, upper sideband, lower sideband. There's a T-low option here. It uh, lets in just the lower frequency tones. And that way it cuts out some of the high hiss and trash you hear on receiving. So that's something I like to see on the radios. They also have that on the Magnums uh, 257s. Here we have a memory load, memory save function. Works much like the 257. You can save a frequency each one of these five locations. Neat thing about that is with these radios, much like the Magnum 257s, it'll save both the frequency and the mode. So right now, you know, we could go up here and we could have 27385 lower sideband. And on the next frequency, we could have 28400 uh, upper sideband. So very neat for that. So a lot of this is very familiar to people. We've got a meter, uh, RF meter along the bottom here uh, that shows up and it shows your TX, those types of things. Um, Let's get into some of the stuff that's different on this radio. First thing, this radio tunes in 5 uh, kilohertz increments. And you'll see here we go up 
So it tunes on the zeros, which most export radios are going to tune by the fives. If you want to get to the zeros, you have to press the step button and go down to get to the zeros. But this actually tunes on the zeros, so by fives. And secondly, this radio has continuous tuning. A lot of export radios, you have to hit the call button or the you know uh, band button to flip through the different bands or banks of frequencies that they're set up for. This radio is continuous tuning all the way from 24.500 uh, all the way up to 29.995. So it covers 10, 11, and 12 all the way through. And you can just scan right up and it'll just go up all the way through the frequencies all the way through. What That's interesting because if also if you do the scan function on this radio, it will go all the way through the bands. So there's no bands or frequencies, uh, banks of them set up like a lot of other exports. Continuous tuning on this radio. Uh, some people may say, like, why is that a big deal? Well, if you've ever been operating, say, on 27385 and you want to just go straight up to 27455 uh, or some of the free band frequencies, you just tune straight upwards with this radio. You don't have to do a band switch or anything to jump up to the next bank of channels. This one, it's just continuous tuning. So that's an interesting feature. Um, the narrow-banded uh, filter on this basically will cut out a lot of the noise, and that's something we haven't seen on a whole lot of radios. If you hold this in, it takes about three to four or even five seconds and you'll see the light here indicate and that means that's turned on. Uh, I'll give you an example of what it sounds like when we enable it. Let's uh, jump around to the back of the radio I'll show you a couple other quick things about this radio that's a little different. Alright, looking at the back of the radio you see our power cords coming in here. Um, power cord has a quick disconnect on it and then it just has your two wires run out. We'll see an external speaker jack here, antenna connector here for your coax. This comes standard with a heat sink with the fan mounted to it. When the radio starts transmitting, the fan starts going and uh, helps to cool down the radio and keeps your finals nice and cool. So uh, no worries about overheating with this radio. This fan does a really good job. And in testing here, it's kept it really cool, even over a long conversation. So very neat from the factory to have a little fan on here, very nicely mounted. Um, you know, it's not like a little hack add-on job. They did a really good job from the factory. The uh, inside finals are going to be dual final radio. It's going to do about 50 watts, um, solid 50 watts. And uh, let's jump on the inside of the radio. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, this is the inside of the radio. Excuse the lack of tripod here. And you'll see it looks uh, similar to the Magnum 257 in the layout a bit. It's uh, surface mount technology on these boards. That's one of the reasons they're so compact, these radios. You'll notice one of the main differences between this and many other radios is you'll see quite a lot of these uh, shielding boxes. And this radio is going to have very, very good single sideband stability. And you'll see that these boxes are going to help with that. They'll also help prevent stray RF getting into different areas of the radio. You see even the finals back there are uh, going to be shielded and the fan section going right on to there. So very nice, clean layout, not a whole lot of uh, wires running around, and surface mount technology once again makes this radio very small and compact. And just to give you an idea, I mean, this is a very small radio. That's just the, the width of my hand there. So if you're not familiar with the Magnum 257s uh, or the, the Yeticom radio that we have here, very easy, compact, great for uh, small installs and newer vehicles where you just don't have a whole lot of room. We have a little activity on 10 meters uh, this evening, so I will show you here uh, if we can listen and uh, see if the stations come back in. Once again, this is with the narrow filter uh, on on the okay, radio. Well, very good. Maybe Alan's pointing in your direction now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a while for me. I mean, uh, you know, I've not been on 10 meters for a while, you Larry. Uh, talking uh, at this time in the evening, uh, so... Uh, I'm very glad we, uh, uh, we, we was able to make contact. I'm just going to put you down into the local area, over. So I'll show you a couple other real quick features uh, that are on here that we didn't uh, spend too much time on. The memory functions, uh, memory load. We can jump through. We've saved uh, in memory location one here, uh, 27385 lower sideband. We can press memory load, go to number two. Now we're at 27455 lower sideband. Number three, you'll see it switch to AM mode. It does save the mode and the frequency. So now we're at uh, channel six there. 
jumps us up to uh, 10 meters, upper sideband, and we can jump right back into lower sideband. So memory function is very cool on these radios. Uh, to save a channel, uh, frequency, whatever, you press function, memory save, and then you can store it in whatever location you want. Um, once again, the tone low, enable that, press the function, tone low, cuts out a little bit of the hiss. And so that's kind of a neat feature as well. And uh, the step feature, once again, you'll see it tunes in that uh, tunes in that five kilohertz step. Now, of course, you can go in and hit the step button and tune individually and go through the frequency that way as well using the step button. If you happen to stop, so let's say we stop on the nine and we uh, go back here, now it's still going to tune in the five kilohertz step. So it'll go up by five every time. So that's kind of interesting as well. Um, so then you can always just go step back and put it back on the fives. And very neat radio from uh, Yeticom, Yeticom Optima AM FM single sideband 10, 11, 12 meter radio. If you're interested in purchasing one of these, you can reach them uh, out of New Zealand. It's uh, www.survival-systems.com. Hope you enjoyed the review of this new radio.